Hello Virgo, happy Friday to you guys, happy weekend to you. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. I hope you are relaxing this weekend, enjoying your time. Uh, I was asked to start doing personal readings again, so I'm doing them at this time. If you want one from me, you can just email me directly. The email address will be below this video in the description box below. So Virgo, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, Virgo, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of, concentrating on by watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for this sign of Virgo. For Virgo's highest good, please. You know, please show us what's coming up for Virgo in their life. <clears throat> and how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Virgo in their life? And how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? This one clearly wants to show up as extra message. Let's do this, Virgo. You're trying not to miss your soulmate. Yeah, this is you trying not to miss them. So obviously you're not together right now. You're not reaching out to them either. You're not communicating with them. Oh, you let some of your friends go as well. It's like you kind of detaching yourself emotionally and physically from certain friends that you were in touch with. You're trying to have healthy boundaries. You are making some kind of financial changes and decisions. You want to make sure that you are safe financially moving forward. Yeah, you're letting go of your soulmate. You're no longer uh, giving yourself hope that maybe something will improve. This is you deciding to let them go. Yeah, not to wait around for some kind of improvement. Yeah, this is you letting, and this is you also letting certain friends go. You're letting go of certain family members and friends as well. You see this? Wow. This is you realizing what's important to you, what belongs in your life, who belongs in your life, and who does not. You know, please show us what's coming up for Virgo in their life, and how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey. <sighs> uh huh. So you're realizing that there are some people in your close surroundings, whether it's family members or friends, that don't necessarily have your back. You felt that for a long time. And something transpired recently where you are certain uh, of who belongs in your life and who does not. Yeah, you see, that's what happens. When we let go of certain relationships, certain people, uh, you make room for new relationships, right? For new people to enter your life, for new energy, right? That's what happens. It gets replaced. You're extremely guarded emotionally towards certain people you're letting go of, like family members and friends. You see this? You feel like it's the end of the road with certain people and like you need to move on. You are very guarded emotionally though. Yeah, this is how you view your soulmate based on their behavior towards you. Knight of Wands. So Knight of Wands is a very uh, non-committal energy. Someone who kind of comes and goes, uh, happy-go-lucky energy, uh, not telling you how they feel, what to expect, uh, just, you know, living one day at a time without commitment. Oh my goodness. So these people, whether it's friends or relatives, you separating yourself from or letting go of, uh, caused you heartbreak, betrayal. You see this? This is you recognizing that's why you're so guarded. Now it makes sense why you're so guarded. You're holding on to five swords, the most severe queen of all queens, queen of swords. And recognizing that certain people you need to let go of. 
and you're going to be finding out even more. Yeah, you see, as the more you are discerning in this situation, the more you're going to realize and observe. You see, this is you observing, realizing who is authentic in your life and who is not, who has your back and who doesn't. This is you. So you have very strong connection with the divine at this time. Yeah, very connected because you are seeing things very objectively. You're not sugarcoating anything. You see this? You're not trying to make excuses for other people's behavior. You are very objective and uh, fair, right? And because of that, you are able to access uh, higher levels of consciousness. You see, you're getting some kind of downloads of important information from higher power, whether it's doing your meditative states, sleep, prayers, you see this? You are going to be getting some kind of uplifting energy. This is beautiful, very connected with the divine power. This is beautiful connection you have here. You want a solid relationship. Yeah, you, you don't want to settle for a relationship. Look how beautiful your energy is. This person is missing you. This person is thinking of you. Look how beautiful. You see, your third eye is wide open. You are very connected. Somebody entering your life. Somebody you're going to feel connection with, whether it's the person that's returning to you, if they prove themselves to you through actions, of course, or a new person. I'm so happy for you, Virgo. I'm so happy for you. You deserve this positive energy, positive change, shift in your life. I am so happy for you. Yes. It was to show us what's coming up for Virgo. How is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, you see, you're letting go of someone that, or people that you feel uh, betrayed your trust. So you, you're letting go of a number of people, making peace with the situations and moving on with your life. Something is going to change, shift drastically at your job. Yeah, something is being hidden from you at your job. You see this? Um, and you're so busy that uh, your back is kind of turned towards it, like you're not noticing, but there's something going on. So keep your eyes and ears open. Yeah, you've been through a lot of heartbreak in life. Yeah, you've been through a lot of heartbreak, betrayal, and this is you uh, realizing what's important to you and how to move on, how to heal. Spending time in nature, that's beautiful. Nature is very healing. You see this? This is you praying, meditating, spending time in nature. Virgo, a lot of healing coming to you that you deserve. Let's see how that soulmate is that you're letting go of. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo. And how is that soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo at this time, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo? And how is that soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo at this time, especially emotionally? Ooh, they want to take action. They want to come towards you. Yeah. Magician with King of Wands. King of Wands is King of Action. Magician next to it. Yeah, they want to communicate with you, clear the air with you. They checking up on you. They realize they lost you. You see, this is them feeling sad about this loss, missing you. Yeah, they so they want to come towards you, uh, reach out to you. Let's see, universe, please show us. But will they? That's the question. Will they follow through with actions? Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo. And how is that soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo this time, especially emotionally? Ah, that's why now it's making sense. This person fell in love with you, but this is unspoken love, unexpressed love, hidden love at this time. You see, they're not communicating with you. They're not telling you how they really feel. Ace of Cups. 
which makes total sense because if they didn't love you, they wouldn't feel the need to reach out, right? I mean, they would have moved on already. They realize that they miss you a lot, that they didn't meet you halfway in this relationship, that they didn't reciprocate. Yeah. See, they're not able to let you go. This is, you guys have soul contracts. You see this? So that means that if you decide not to work on this relationship any longer, not to get back together, you're going to see each other again in future incarnations. You have soul contracts to complete, lessons to learn from each other. This person is checking up on you heavily. They feel enormous connection with you. So the people they were with before you, they were able to let go so easily. But with you, it's different. They realize a difference between you and the people they were with before you. They were waiting for a while to see if you're going to reach out or what. But they realizing you are not. Yeah, they don't want to fight or argue. So they've been trying to kind of um, uh, ignore their feelings, hoping it just is temporary, but they realizing that they really do love you, that they can't just turn off those emotions they have. They feel a great need to see you. Virgo, something is coming to you financially. Yeah, some kind of financial windfall, blessings are showing up here for you. Uh, also job changes, whether it's a new job, promotion, uh, new position, new place of employment, new way of doing business, some kind of changes financially for the better. Yeah, they've been quiet, silent. Look how much respect this person has for you. My favorite queen again, that's you, Virgo, queen of pentacles with your third eye wide open. Wow, what a connection. What a connection between you two. Virgo, you know, you have free will to decide what you want to do when they approach you, right? Yeah, you have free will to do whatever you feel you need to do, whether you listen or uh, let them go for good. Yeah, you see, they are absolutely determined to approach you, but they know they're going to have to be very courageous. They slow to action. They worried. You see, they worry. They know they're going to have to be very brave because they know you have great reasons to be highly disappointed. Uh, they worried you're going to reject them, uh, say no to them. They view you as very guarded towards them emotionally. Again, queen of swords towards them. Yeah, this person realized they, they didn't put work into this. You see, they regret it deeply. There's some changes showing up again for your job. M major changes showing up. For those of you that have been dealing or are dealing in the midst of some kind of um, lawsuit, um, you're trying to fight for what's yours. It looks like it's going to take you a while to collect, but you're going to be victorious in winning your case. So this is for those of you now, this message is for those of you that are or will be in the near future uh, dealing with some kind of judicial proceedings um, where you're fighting for uh, some kind of fair uh, resolution and it has to do with finances, money. So you're going to win, but it's going to take you a while. Well, usually those cases take time. It's going to take you a while to collect, but you're going to be victorious at winning, uh, whether it's a settlement or whatever it is. Wow, Virgo, we're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate popping up in your life. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life. 
also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So we're going to click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.